Okay, so now I'm gonna show you one of the example video that I did for my friend. It's a full body shot pictures that I compiled together into a short video with the China editing app that I'll teach you guys later on. <laughs> Okay, basically that's it and then the next video that I did before is uh, more to a jewelry advertisement So basically with this app you can do, you can edit anything with it honest I can't even read Chinese well myself and I can't speak well too so this app is actually from China and it's all written in Chinese I can't find a way to change the language I think there's no way to change it but you get used to it after some time because trust me it's a really nice app it's actually called Tian Ying I don't know if I pronounce it correctly or not but I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it and yeah i'll provide the link below where to download the app and now let's go straight to the tutorial okay so first of all you want to open the app and then you gotta press this plus button on top after that you're going to choose your pictures here i will choose my friend's pictures Okay, so how to put the music inside? It's actually very easy because they actually have the picture of the music sign there. You can press it. And for me, I usually press the first one with the music sign again. And then you can basically choose the music they gave you. Or you can press... Okay, wait, so, um, or you can choose the one, the last one here and click on the folder and now you can choose the, your own music from your phone music library For me, I usually use the music I got from Douyin and there you can press this, if you have Douyin, you can actually copy the link of the video and you put it here and you just press the download button and they will immediately download the song for you so for this one I'm gonna use this song I don't usually use this small transition because it's just going to like uh, put the effect at the middle of the two pictures so I usually prefer to put the effects for the whole pictures itself which you can do by pressing the pictures like this and then you just have to press this the small play button right here and there's a lot of choices you can choose from so you have to uh, slowly try one by one and I can't read either but I just because they actually have a preview of that so you can take a look and you can even try it whether you like it or not, if not, you can just change others. What I like to do is I like to use this too. And I like to put it like alternatively so the pictures goes like boom boom boom. So I'm just gonna do it now and yeah. Okay, now that I have done all the effects for each pictures now you have to adjust the pictures with the width of the song so you can actually extend you use your two finger and you do this expand and you can see more of the music wave so it's easier for you to edit so it's basically like a normal video editor you just have to control the how, how long you want each picture to be like this okay now after you're done with the picture effect and you have adjusted your picture duration 
now you can actually press the tiny one star and you can choose a lot more video effects like for example this one I will show you when it open when it start and then I will usually use oh I like to use this one you can see there's actually like a slight black filter I don't know if you can see or not but when you edit yourself you will see something different and after that same thing you just have to drag this all the way to the end and that's it you're done you can also put a lot of things inside if you want to add text you can do so by pressing this T sign and you can also adjust the music sound if you want it to fade in and fade out like how you usually edit you can press this small music press the music press the music you chose like on the screen and you press this second one to be honest i don't know how i'm supposed to say it but you know you, you'll just follow i put a picture right here and then now you can adjust the first part is the fade in the second one is fade out and after that you're done and so this is the final result and yeah that's basically it but i cannot teach you guys one by one because there's actually a lot of filters there so you guys can explore by yourself and at the end of this video i will try to put down a list of what each of the logo means so you can just press and explore by yourself and yeah that's basically it hope you guys can do videos like me too and don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye bye